Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this updated video this evening. I trust and hope that you're doing really fantastic. And we're going to be taking a look at these uh, these three systems. We can see that an additional area is marked for development, although I don't think that will become anything much. So, uh, Ophelia is off the map. Uh, we've also got Tropical Storm Philippe, as well as that Tropical Wave, now designated as Invest 91 else. We're going to be looking at all three of these systems. We'll also be looking at some model data in a bit of detail. The Euro is showing something pretty interesting in for the coming days so let's go on to these satellites and we can see we've got our systems out there whatever is left of Ophelia uh, there's a trough in the region that's why there's that little cluster of showers and thunderstorms up there and we can see that things get pretty messy across the Caribbean and parts of northern South America even just outside the region of northeastern South America there's quite a bit of activity going on out there and across sections of the eastern islands as well now that big blob that we see that is tropical storm Philippe and uh, it is not gonna be a problem for land during the coming days and then we've got that next tropical wave we're just seeing these disorganized showers and thunderstorms but it will try to consolidate into something as we head into this week further into the week and so let's go ahead and now talk about these systems individually let's take a closer look at the caribbean and surrounding areas first so here we are looking at parts of the South Caribbean and Northern South America. There we can see all that activity moving west from the main development region and some uh, showers and thunderstorms as well across sections of the Southeast Caribbean go into Trinidad, parts of Southern Trinidad, but that activity is kind of moving out right now. And of course, other islands of the Lesser Antilles. Going across the Guyanas, we also see some activity developing, heading into Venezuela as well as Colombia and even Panama as well. Likely lots of heavy rainfall in some areas. Let's head further up north and here we can see it's so these scattered showers and thunderstorms are quite widespread across the region with many areas feeling the effects whether it be in the form of overcast skies the actual thunderstorms and heavy rainfall even some gusty winds as well so there's quite a bit happening and where we have all that shower and thunderstorm activity is close to that area being watched for some development over the coming days so here we are looking at uh, going further up north into the gulf and off the southeastern u.s and we can see all that disorganized activity so uh, there's a 10 percent chance that we could see some development let's go on to the nhc's outlook a 10 percent chance of something developing over the course of the next uh seven days and even the next two days as well so as i said i do not think that this is going to become anything significant out there so i could still be a rainmaker for parts of the northwestern caribbean heading to sections of central america particularly for mexico so there could be some heavy rainfall on the horizon guys and in the case of heavy rainfall there can be flooding so please be mindful of that now we want to go ahead and move on to philippe so here is is the tropical storm on satellite it is strengthening a bit but it is going to be battling some wind shear that is going to kind of help it to not strengthen quickly out there let's go on to the cone forecast as of this evening and here we can see that it is sustaining winds up to 50 miles per hour so it has been steadily strengthening a bit but again it is going to encounter some shear notice that it is not expected to become a hurricane through the next five days so as we head through this week it should hold steady at tropical storm status and then eventually make that curve up we can see that it is going to be well away from the caribbean the u.s and also the bahamas want to watch for the system potentially moving close enough to bermuda but models haven't really been suggesting that happening so of course i'll be keeping an eye on the system for you guys and so now let's go ahead and finally move on to that tropical wave invest 91 l so here we have it to the southwest of the cabo verde islands and it is given that 60 percent chance to possibly become something over the course of the next seven days so it is going to be moving westward for a bit longer but eventually start taking on a west northwestward track and uh, it could eventually become our next name storm and the next name to be used for the season is rena so let's see if this will become rena over the course of the next couple of days and models are showing something pretty interesting here so let's head on to what they have to depict as of the latest update the 12 uh, the 12z update so we're kickstarting with gfs so this is as we head to thursday of this week later down in the week we can see that it is expecting that philippe will be intensifying and there is also 91L trying to become something but eventually it gets absorbed by Philippe. That happens with systems sometimes when they get too close to each other. Sometimes one becomes dominant and then eventually the whole thing making its way up to the northeast. Interestingly though headed near to the middle of September GFS is showing that we could see something try to form in the Caribbean likely one of those late season tropical waves moving in. We'll have to wait and see but I'm taking this with a grain of salt as of right now but interestingly the Canadian model is also showing something quite interesting. This is as 
as we head to Wednesday, the 27th of the month, so Wednesday of this week, there we can see Philippe and then that next system expected to develop. We also see some development off the east coast of the U.S. Quite a bit of models are showing this. And there is that system uh, in the northern, uh, the northeastern Caribbean. And then heading to the icon model as we're going to be heading into Wednesday of this week, the 27th. Here we can see it showing Philippe out there as well as 91L trying to get itself together. Also some increase in moisture across parts of the Caribbean, the Gulf, and even off the southeastern coast of the U.S. Eventually, as we head to Sunday, the first that is out a week, uh, a week out from now, we can see something forming off the southeastern U.S. So Icon is showing that we could definitely see something develop there. And then interaction between uh, Philippe and 91 are likely to become a tropical storm, maybe even a depression at that time. So Fujiwara effect with these systems interacting. Uh, when they're close in strength or intensity, they can try to rotate around each other. But if one is much stronger than the other, then that stronger one usually dominates. And then heading on to the Euro model now. So it is showing that we could have multiple areas to watch as we head to next week. So Sunday, the 1st of October, this is what it is showing something making its way from the east coast of the U.S., maybe becoming a subtropical cyclone. There's that area of loss of moisture off the southeast, just offshore there. Uh, what is in that area would be what is left of Philippe. So interestingly, the Euro is not showing that this will be making its way out to the northeast. And then what could become Arena, uh, making a close approach to the Caribbean, but eventually making that turn up to the north. So uh, this is contrary to what the model was expecting in some previous runs in regards to the system staying well offshore. So we definitely have to keep an eye, and this is the reason I do updates to keep you guys posted on everything going on. And so as we take a look at conditions out there, here we're taking a look at this anomaly map. This is a sea surface temperature anomaly map showing how much the temperature varies from what is typical in terms of color. So when we see more of those uh, of oranges head into that darker shade heading onto red that is indicating much warmer waters than what is typical meanwhile the blues indicates cooler waters so off the southeast we've had our multiple systems uh, moving through the area causing that upwelling which is uh, with those systems using up all that heat energy all those warm waters near the surface so cooler water from further beneath moves into a place that lost to warm water so that is why we see these below average temperatures but across the gulf and the caribbean especially the caribbean these waters haven't really been tapped into yet by any significant systems out there. We've only had a few systems manage to make their way into the Caribbean. We've not seen something major, thankfully, but at the same time, this is going to be a breeding ground as we head into the next couple of weeks. The Caribbean, the Gulf off the Southeast Coast, these are the areas we want to pay attention to as we're going to be heading into the final several weeks of the hurricane season. And so, uh, as I said, I'm here to keep you guys posted as it relates to this. Now, going on to this wind shear map, it might be a little bit confusing. In, but there we have the white outline of different areas and uh, we're looking at the northwestern caribbean so where we see that uh, little white puffiness that is indicating the uh, thunderstorms associated with the newly marked disturbance look at all of those red lines ahead of it those red lines are indicating the unfavorable shear so those are level winds being very strong displacing those thunderstorms and really just uh, ripping the system apart so that is why i'm not expecting much development and that is why the nhc the NHC only shows a 10% chance that we might see something form out there, but we do see that on favorable shares across most of the Caribbean and even heading out into parts of the main development region. There is uh, Philippe out there and there we can see all those red lines in the region and ahead of it. So it's going to be encountering that share as aforementioned. And so that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys in this update. And I hope you found it to be quite informative, but if you have any questions as usual, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond once I get the chance to do so. And as always, remember to be with the wise.